Hi, I'm Beach Bum and Dad. From north or south, we'll share adventures from the beach to <laughs> who knows where. Life is an adventure, so let's experience it together. When I heard that the Beach Bum and Kiddos wanted to go somewhere for spring break, all I could think of was shelling road trip. Well, they were thinking heated pool and nice beach. So instead of a long trip to Southwest Florida, we came up with a compromise. Panama City Beach. Nice beach, Ace Harbor Shell Pile, Shell Island, and a heated pool. So after that was decided, I booked the shuttle online. We packed, and when departure day came, it was, how fast can we get there? And then, music to my ears. Guys, welcome to Shell Island. Before we pick up some beautiful shells, let's look into the logistics of this trip. Purchase your tickets online. Maybe you can time it with some good winds. Carry some sunscreen, of course, water and snacks. Good walking shoes, camera, and make sure you time how long it takes you to shell so that you don't miss the boat and spend an evening on the island. So as soon as we hit the beach, the beach bum and kiddos set up their camp because they for sure weren't going to walk all day with me. The tour guide on the shuttle had rightly stated, the farther away from the crowds, the better the shells. Now I hadn't walked too far before I started finding shells such as this razor clam but they weren't what I was looking for. And as I walked farther along, the shells got a little bit more interesting. A few more scallops. But it took a while before I started seeing some sand dollars. If this is the first time we've met, I am Beach Bum and Dad, and this channel is all about sharing life's adventures. If you haven't already subscribed, if you do love shelling, the beach, getting sand all over you, just basically adventures in life, then please hit that subscribe button and follow up with that notification bell. That way you won't miss out on any future adventures such as this one. So it's kind of funny, I was just thinking, I made the comment, getting sand all over yourself. If you've ever seen me shelling for minis, you know, lying down on the ground with a little pick, sorting through the shells, I think you would know what I mean. Or if you get your camera down on the ground and try to get photos of some of these beauties, you'll have <laughs> sand on your chin, sand in your pockets, just basically sand all over your clothes couple nice shells are. First olive of the day. I've seen a lot of people posting about Shell Island that there aren't any shells there and that kind of confuses me because once I got a half mile away from you know where all the the swimmers and sunbathers were there were Quite a few shells. And the weather was just gorgeous. The scenery, the wildlife, it was it was just an amazing day to be out on another island walking by yourself and shelling. And the colors in the scallops we're finding today. Nice black ones. Base scallops have some brilliant colors to them. Still haven't found a, a rough scallop though. Shell bag. 
know, I was looking up ahead. There's like no one around. Just birds. Me and all you folks with me. It was, it was just amazing being out there. Like anything, people talk about the area, and while I had heard of Shell Island not too long after we moved here, I didn't actually know that it was a peninsula that after some dredging took place, it became Shell Island. And while a lot of people just want to refer to the island as a good vacation spot or a shelling spot, it has a pretty rich history. Everything from pirates to a defense installation. And then I read about someone homesteading the area, Teddy the Hermit. The history is, is pretty neat to get into. question regarding affiliate links, some of the products I use, or even how to get a hold of me, you can jump down in the description box and find directions how to get to some of these locations or uh, some of the affiliate links. me so far make sure you hang in there we still have many more miles of beach to cover many more shells to pick up and don't forget to check back for part two I think that's where we're really gonna get into the shells the farther away we get from the the beachy camp out area Ah, so close. We'll get one. So many scallops. Coquinas. Venus clams. No footprints. 